The principal at Fowler High School has created a unique program aimed at not only improving academic achievement, but creating good citizens. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson joins us with how the program is grooming Fowler's leaders of tomorrow. As the principal of Fowler High, Hank Gutierrez says he saw something in many of his students that reminded him of himself. That's why he came up with a program he hopes will make a difference in their lives. These, these young ladies are graduates from Fresno State. They're here to help you every day. Fowler High School principal Hank Gutierrez knows a few words of encouragement can go a long way. So many of our kids in, in society are growing up without a blueprint for success. Growing up in a single parent home just a few blocks from Fowler High, Gutierrez says he knows what that is like. He is now providing kids with that blueprint for success through programs he created called called the Men's Alliance and Women's League. The elements that this program and these programs are providing are exactly what someone like me uh, could have or should have needed in high school. Uh, the mentoring, the uh, social skills, the uh, ability to give, give time back into the community. You first take notice of the students in this group by the way they dress, the blue blazers and ties, their uniform. I think when Mr. Gutierrez started this program, he wanted the, the kids to look like young adults, what? like they were, they were getting ready to go out into the, into the workforce. It is also sending the message to young people like 17-year-old Connor Turner, who may not at one time been the best student, the message that they matter. When I was little, I had older friends, and some of them weren't good influences. And so I think that it's, it's good to have an older person coming in having a positive influence on them rather than a bad influence. For Connor, the opportunity to give back, mentor other young kids is one of his favorite things about the program. Lots of dumb things happen to me hanging out with friends. Every week, the men's and women's group volunteer their time at the elementary school. It is making a huge impact on 10-year-old Nicholas Mendoza. When I get older, I want to do what they do. I want to be a men's alliance. I want to help kids. While both the men's and women's group have some of the same components, leadership classes, tutorials to help with schoolwork, advisor Rebecca Cottle says it was important for her to address certain issues with the girls. We want the younger generations to be able to see that um, it doesn't always have to be about gossiping or being on their phones all the time or some sort of click mentality that we as women need to be connected and be united in a social effort. You don't know your path, you don't know your destiny, but the important thing is to do something. Cottle is always putting good role models before the young ladies. Guest speakers like Helen Chavez, owner of La Tapatia, regularly visit the classroom. It definitely gives them another person to connect with besides myself. Cottle, just like Josh Turpin, the advisor for the men's group, are all from Fowler attended the local high school. Principal Gutierrez says bringing them back on campus as leaders was no accident. Here at the high school are putting these kids in a position to be successful. That's the bottom line because at the end of the day you want your kids to walk away from the school saying I have a purpose. This program is helping these kids see that um, what you do uh, makes a difference. The Red Cat Men's Alliance is in his second year, and the Women's League is in his first year. Gutierrez says he has collected data that shows improvements in both grades and attendance for both wow. of the programs. Wow, how impressive. Yeah, and the great thing about that is, is these kids are really learning how to give back. That's what they want right. to do. Right, and then the, they're inspiring the young kids. Yeah, you saw that with the day. young kids. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's so impressive. How did these kids get selected for this group? Well, the first year, the principal uh, sort of selected them based on kids that he saw that had a lot of potential but maybe didn't have somebody to kind of push them. They were realizing themselves, and so this is something that they can realize themselves. Yeah, well, he saw himself in mm. those kids because he didn't have that growing up. So interesting. So Wonderful. Wonderful. Thanks so much again.